How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. We also got to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. And you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, we do this five days out of the work week. Maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, or maybe it was the market conditions. While well, you came to watch this video, plus hear one of my corny jokes. Here it comes. Why don't blind people skydive? Because it scares their dogs. <laughs> Not too bad, right? So today we're gonna be talking about SNDL Sundial Growers. It ended up breaking through key levels of support, so I wanna put this update video out for you guys. So before we get started, of course, we gotta go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just wanna let you know we have timestamps down below in the description, but if you are a shareholder or you're considering to take a position, I suggest you watch the full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna be going over is a technical analysis, taking a look at the price action. Like I said previously, we broke through areas of support and we wanna see is this gonna start looking bearish or could it reverse and start looking bullish. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the short interest information we want to see hey is it expensive to actually short sundial stock are there a lot of people shorting the stock and so forth and has a short volume ratio been going up or has it been going down so we're going to find that out and then i'll be giving you guys my final thoughts and even more details so we're going to be doing a technical analysis for sundial growers so let's take a look at it so we could see here it close at one dollar and three cents being down nine point six five percent on the day on the low it tested one dollar and three cents then on the high testing one dollar and fifteen cents so when we take a look at the chart yes it is looking bearish for SNDL but it's also one of the reasons why I tell you to keep it on your watch list with other meme type stocks as you see with AMC GME SNDL does move in correlation with these particular plays this is why I'm not surprised that it broke through support and we had a lot of selling pressure here we could also talk about this area of support we talked about right here at this dollar ten level the fact that it broke and I told you guys, if it does decide to pull back, then look out for it testing the $1 level. It didn't go down to $1. Instead, it went to $1.03 and ended up showing some sign of a recovery, not breaking through it. Can it break through this $1.03 area tomorrow? Most definitely. So if it does decide to pull back, it's definitely getting into the 90 cent range and taking this into consideration and from what we could see on the chart, we do have an area of support here. But at the same time, if it ends up breaking through this and if you believe in the long-term prospects, even if SNDL gets down to here in the 70 cent range, I feel this is a great opportunity to add some shares. I told you guys and many of you on this channel who joined me in on this play when it got to the 70 cent range and we were riding this up. So if it does decide to pull back, I'll add even more because like we said, outside of what's going on with meme stocks, there's a lot of potential in SNDL as far as investments, cash that they have on hand and as well as acquisitions. So even if you take a look at these RSI down below, it is at 52. So what you must know if it gets down down to that 30 level, it's getting to oversold territory, which does open up an opportunity to buy. So we're on Fintel. We're going to take a look at the short interest information for SNDL Sundial Growers. When we take a look at the short volume ratio, it is at 19%. So this is fairly significant. So what this means out of 271.9 million shares that were traded yesterday, 52.5 million of those shares were actually sold short. If we take a look at what the short shares availability is of dated 27 minutes ago it is at 10 million and the short ball free rate is at 1.55 percent when we take a look at the short volume ratio history we can see it at 19.31 definitely shorts are covering their position because it has been a lot higher than this in the past we do see that SNDL is selling off in regards to the overall stock price so we're going to continue to keep an eye on the short volume because again this adds to even more volatility in the play as well. So for my final thoughts for SNDL Sundial Growers, the matter of the fact is that it broke through key areas of support. And this is of no surprise whatsoever. If you take a look at other meme stocks, we saw AMC got pushed down. We saw GME get pushed down. And these stocks are heavily correlated with each other. And it's part of the reasons why s 
Jackson DL broke through that $1.9, $1.10 area that we've talked about many times. So what I'll be looking out for is seeing if it pulls back even further going into tomorrow. And the reason being is, and I want to make sure I emphasize this, you do not want to get into the stock catching a falling knife here. I was telling you guys this, and many of you on this channel know this, when we started adding to our positions, it was in the 70 cent range. It's around 75, 76 for my average cost. So as far as the pullback, what's going on, I really don't mind it. If it ends up coming back to that 70 cents level, I'm going to continue to add more to the position. And the reason being is SNDL does have potential and they did show improvements on their most recent earnings report. We see that they're making a lot of investments and they're also going forward with acquisitions that'll definitely end up being fruitful for their future so we know that already so if it pulls back then by all means this is where we take advantage of the opportunity can it break that one dollar level of course it can and we'll be staying in the, the 90 area if it doesn't stay within the 90 area again you guys saw the technicals already you could be able to put a game plan together for yourself as far as what i'm going to be looking for we see the other meme stocks in that particular category i just hate saying that word if you see they start running up then s and will be able to actually benefit from this but we also got to understand that SNDL has been on quite the very strong run so as soon as when you see a bit of selling pressure and this market is starting to look very iffy then a lot of people are going to start taking profits and this is something that I want you to be aware of this is part of the reasons why I say it every single time in all of my videos always protect your profits when you're getting greedy and you're looking for that big move and that's all you're looking forward to, then there's a likelihood that you're going to end up getting burnt. So I want to make sure you're not going through with that and making sure you have an entry plan and as well as an exit plan for your position. And at the end of the day, hey, in this particular play, if you're like myself, look out for that pullback if you believe in the long-term prospects because I do believe SNDL should be able to really pay off in the next one year to two years to three years, especially when as far as cannabis is concerned, it's going to be a growing sector, a growing market. The demand is there and SNDL is in a great position to take advantage of that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.